Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing the food that you can eat on board the Carnival Breeze. Yeah, we're going to first start with the food that you do have to pay extra for and then move on to what is included on the ship. First is bonsai sushi. We didn't eat here on this trip, but I have eaten here before, and they do have pretty decent sized portions of food. Um, decently priced, especially for sushi and uh, just the extra stuff that you can get is pretty good, and I do recommend checking it out if you're okay spending more money on food. Next is the Fahrenheit Steakhouse. Honestly, this one wasn't super impressive to me. Uh, you can just order a basic meal in the dining room and I would be just as happy. So take that with what you will, but it's another option that you can do on the ship. Next is the Piano Bar 88. It's free to like be there, but obviously it's a bar, so you have to pay for your drinks like all the other bars on board. But it is a nice lounge that you can chill at. Um, next is the Red Frog Pub. This one has their own brewed beer. They make their own beer, but it does have um, some games in here. You can do board games in here. It's a fun vibe. People will do karaoke. There is a foosball table in the back, and then they also have a mini shuffleboard table as well. So it is a fun place to hang out. Lots of seats too. Mm -hmm. They also have outdoor seating as well. Yes, so this is a cool place to check out. So this is the coffee shop on board. Think of it like Starbucks. They have coffee drinks, obviously. They have alcoholic coffee drinks, and then they also have pastries that are extra. The Alchemy Bar is one of the cooler bars that you can check out on the ship. They have a lot of fun concoctions. The Library Bar is just a small room, a tiny bar inside. Little seating is very much like a low-key quiet zone area. Not much else to say about it. So now we are moving on to deck 10, which is the Lido deck. Which holds the last food stop that you'll have to pay for. They changed it. They made it the seafood restaurant thing now. What is this? Seafood that you have to buy this stuff. So on the Carnival Breeze, I'm a little upset. It did used to be an Indian food area um, and that was free, but they have changed it to the seafood area that you have to pay for. Okay guys, so now we're talking about the free food from now on, starting with Pizza Pirate. This place offers pizza from 11 to 4 a.m. Here is a glimpse at their menu. You can ask them to make you these things, but my recommendation, just take what you can get because you will be waiting a while for them to make what you want. Ready? Hot. <laughs> That's hot. Ooh, I like that. This is super thin crust. I love it. Oh. It's fresh. Hot. <laughs> My God. Wow. Mm. It's a pretty damn good pizza. Yeah. Next is one of my favorites on the carnival ship, that is Guy's Burgers. You can uh, order any like pre-made style ones that they have on the menu on the back, or you can ask them to customize it however you want. But they are delicious smash burgers and they have amazing fries. All right guys, so we got Guy's Burger. We got the Ringer, added bacon and donkey sauce. I don't even know what donkey sauce is. It's Guy's sauce. It's like Guy Fieri's special sauce, so. It kind of just look like mayo, but I'm gonna try a seasoned fry first. Ooh, that's fresh. Mmm, good flavor. It's good. You can dip it in barbecue sauce. Here. I'm gonna try his brown sugar barbecue sauce. It's pretty good. It's really, really sweet. And then we got a chipotle mayo. Yeah, chipotle mayo. It looks like Chick-fil-A sauce, honestly. It does. <laughs> Doesn't taste like it. <laughs> That's good. It's good though. All right, into the burger. You take first bite. No, I've had them before. You take first bite. Okay. I want to see a reaction to a guy's burger. I'll be honest, these burgers look massively unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Like, look at that. That's crazy. That is insane. Okay. <laughs> First bite, good. That's pretty good. Really, really good. Just as I remember, delicious. Give us two more onion rings on there, or one more onion ring. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, next time, 
If we get it again, we can always ask for another one. So the line, guys, the line for it was huge. First off, there's two different lines just for it. I mean, each set was long. And like, I get yesterday being crazy because everyone always goes there as soon as they get on the ship. But oh, man, it is still crazy long today. Oh yeah, should we put any of that on there? Mm -hmm. There's already on it. Oh, I just want more. So I think I give Guy's Burger, I give that a solid 8 out of 10. It's super good. Really rich and thick. Mm -hmm. um, the cheese is super melted. Yeah, cheese is ultra melted on there. And like, it's a smash burger. Well, yeah, yeah this is a smash, smash burger. burger. It's a really good size because if you get smash burgers back at home, they're always so tiny. Yeah, they're really small back at home for some reason. But yeah. Alright, so we're going to the Italian restaurant now. Yeah, um, it's actually a, both of our first times trying it for lunch because it's free during lunch. Yeah, so we like free 99. Yeah! <laughs> All right, here's the next free zone here, Casino Capitano. So this one has an asterisk because it's free during lunch, but for the dinner hours, you will have to pay for it. So it's free from 12 to 2.30 p.m. And then pause whenever you like. Here is their dinner menu. Here we go. Italian. No. This is cool, guys. So it's like make your own pasta. These are all the choices you get. Interesting. Interesting. There's a lot of choices too. Okay, so it looks like your main meat is either chicken or sausage, and then the rest is like veggies. But I'm gonna get spinach and broccoli in mine and ch grilled chicken. Nice. Yeah. What are you gonna get? Linguini. I want, let's see, Alfredo. Let's do Alfredo. More to add, let's do zucchini, grilled chicken. I can add as much? Huh? They also have shrimp too. So the what? meat is chicken, sausage, or shrimp. Could I add all three? Oh, I don't want shrimp. I want Italian sausage, spinach, arugula, peppers? Like bell peppers or like? Probably like bell peppers. No, I don't want bell peppers. Okay, so when you come up here for lunch, they'll tell you, they'll give you like a table number. So they'll tell you where to sit. We were table number 22. Um, and during lunchtime, it's kind of like a build your own pasta bowl. So you can choose all the different noodles. So you can do different meats and extras in there like peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, all that. Um, you can get bread and a salad. And then you can even get lasagna too. So it's pretty cool. I don't think a whole lot of people know that you eat here for free during lunch. Uh, so a funny thing is, this Italian restaurant is right underneath the basketball court. And so you just hear it's like rumbling and like banging. It's just them playing basketball upstairs, but it's, yeah, it sounds like they're gonna fall through the roof. <laughs> but yeah, you can see, like, it's pretty empty in here. So, you know, a lot of open seating, not, again, not many people know that it's for free. Yeah, there's a bunch of seating on the other side as well. So we got our pasta. So far, it looks absolutely delicious. It smells wonderful. Mm. Has a really yummy meat sauce on there. It's not too salty, and then like a hint of parmesan. This is a nice like. This is good pasta. I love it. All right, guys. I got the linguine, grilled chicken, arugula, spinach, and uh, zucchini on here. Let's have the chicken first. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The chicken is really, really good. Really juicy, not dry. Uh, let's try the sausage. I definitely come here for free. I don't know if it's any different during dinner. Okay. So there's a lot more options and dishes during dinner. Uh, during the free lunch, it's just 
the uh, select select few, create your own. But yeah, check it out. The Italian place is pretty good. Guys, if they like you, they'll give you an extra noodle. Because <laughs> I ordered bow tie. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm. So, I've had a few more bites. Um, I've tried the broccoli, the spinach, and my chicken. I'll say the chicken is a tad on the salty side, but it's still absolutely delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Very juicy. Like it's not dried out at all. Um, broccoli is fresh. Really, I was expecting it to be more of like a grilled, but I'm not mad. Like this is absolutely delicious. It's super fresh. Like you said, I would definitely come here for free. All right, guys. So we got the we got the guys pig and anchor barbecue, which is on deck five of a, I think pretty much all cruise like the carnival cruises. Um, but it is only open during lunch. They have all the good foods, brisket, chicken, pork, and the fun sides. So we decided to try all of the four barbecue sauces. They had the sriracha barbecue sauce. They had a brown sugar, and then a Kansas City. So we decided to get all four just to see which one we like the best. So we both got the same thing. What we got, we got the beans, which looks like they have some uh, veggies in them. It smells delicious. Mac and cheese, uh, the sausage, and then the brisket. So I am excited to dig in. And then I got the pork, which is called pork butt, which made me laugh, pulled but it's pulled pork. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you my first, first impressions of the mac and cheese. Tastes like basic mac, like craft mac and cheese, which isn't bad. I like craft mac and cheese, so passable. I will say the mac and cheese, it's usually a lot more creamier. I think maybe because it's the first day they, they made it really fast. I don't know. It's very yummy, but it's a lot better. I'm going to say probably during the sea days. Okay. Mmm, really good flavor. Not too salty, has a nice smoky flavor to it. That's yummy. I think I'd prefer if it was a little leaner, just because I don't like fat myself, but that's very delicious. Great charred flavor, yeah. All right, so now let's test one of the barbecue sauces. I think I wanna do, oh, if I remember which one. I think this is the hickory, the brown sugar, I mean. Mmm, that one's like really sweet. I think that's the brown sugar. That's good though. I like the salty and the sweet together. Donkage! Mmm. That's a really good sausage. I like the skin has that nice like, you know when you take a bite of sausage and it has kind of that crunch skin? It has that, but the inside, it's very, it's very rich. Very good flavor. I think it's a pork sausage, but I love it. So the blue iguana um, cantina, they have on one side you can get tacos, on the other, you can get burritos. Uh, they also do breakfast like tacos and burritos as well. Um, you can get, um, for the tacos, you can get pork, chicken, or fish. And then for the burritos, you can do chicken, pork, and then I believe fajita meat. Um, but both are very good. They pack it full of stuff. The meat is cooked so nicely. Wonderful flavor, not super fatty. I highly recommend checking this place out if you're on the carnival. The Blue Cantina also has many, many hot sauces for you to choose from. So I got the chicken tacos with the salsa roja and then another spicy salsa on the side with some lime. Oh, that's spicy. That's spicy. That's so yummy though. Like jam-packed with flavor. That is delicious. I definitely recommend. So I got the pork tacos with two different hot sauces. But yeah, the pork tacos I think were pretty phenomenal. The flavors of these tacos were extremely good. Try a bite of the Melinda's one. Spicier than the other one. Woo. The hot sauce we got with it was really spicy. It had a deep smoky flavor, but the burn was there. So now let's get a burrito from the Blue Iguana. And you can see here that the size of the burrito it's pretty decent, they don't skimp out on you. That's a big boy. 
Smells good. Can I just take a bite? Mm. All right, guys, we got ourselves another fun drink. Woo. We had one earlier, but this is our second, so. Yes, and they're just as good as the first one. Mm -hmm. Almost a little stronger than the first ones we I had. Say, I think these are stronger. I think the ice hasn't melted yet on these. The next option is the deli. This one is one of your late night options. It is open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And here is a glimpse at their menu. They have uh, hot options and cold options. Went to the deli because it's one of the only few things that are open right now. We're kind of tired of pizza. I got a grilled ham and cheese with fries and then ketchup and a uh, truffle aioli. It smells really yummy. It looks perfectly melted. It's huge. And then, oh, what did you get? A buffalo chicken sandwich, which, you know, <laughs> it looks a little sad, but you know, it's whatever. But I got chipotle mayo sauce and I got the truffle sauce as well. So I'm gonna scoop some of the sauce up on my sandwich and it Ooh. should be good. He also did have more fries than this, but my sandwich took some. longer, <laughs> so he's been eating them. Yeah. Okay. All right, first bite, how is that? It's like a McDonald's chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are kind of yummy. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It is actually pretty good. It's a thin patty. But, oh, yeah. But it still tastes actually like whoa. Mmm. That's a good toasted ham and cheese. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of cheddar. Mmm. -hmm. Very comforting. Hits the spot for sure. I'm happy. How's the truffle fries? Mmm. I haven't tried it yet. Look at this one, it's already in the truffle sauce. Oh, that was a lot of truffle. <laughs> it's good. That was just a lot on my french fry, but it tastes just like the truffle fries that you get in a restaurant. Yeah, all right, it is a truffle mayo. Let's see. <laughs> mm, it does taste just like truffle fries that you yeah. get. It's rich. Yeah, the chipotle sauce is real good. That's my favorite, okay. honestly. I want more. Ooh, that is good. It's a real I really good like sauce. That. All right, guys, so now we have made it to the buffet. We have lots of things to say about the buffet. So the buffet has a wide variety of what they offer daily uh, throughout the whole entire day and night. So they have two different sections with four lines total, and their menu items change daily. They do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they're open as early as 7 a.m. But yeah, they have lots of different items. Uh, the breakfast was was pretty okay every time we've had it. Their lunch quality kind of varied. Sometimes it looked good, but then just tasted bland, or it looked great and tasted great, or if it looked bad but tasted good, it was just kind of all over the place. So you can find a wide variety of quality in the uh, buffet, but the fact that it's there for you all day is nice. So you can, you know, land a jackpot and get something really good and yummy and tasty. But sometimes you can get something that's not so great. So while the buffet is always changing, um, they do have a Mongolian wok station that is always constant. You can build your own bowl, choose your own sauces. We really enjoyed this one. We're on to the dining room. There's two different dining rooms. They have your time dining, which you can go whenever you want, and then time dining, which you pick a time before you get on the ship, and that's, where, that's when you have to go every day. All right, did All right. we get a chocolate soup or what? It smells and looks chocolatey. <laughs> that looks kind of gross. Let's, let's give it a sip. What you think? It tastes pretty nasty. <laughs> it's, it's not my favorite. Um, but it's not, it's not disgusting, but it's not delicious either. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, let me try. <laughs> oh, this is thick. Thickums, thickums. <laughs> it tastes like pork juice. They're about to do showtime. About to do. Sh 
showtime. <laughs> The quality of the food is hit or miss. Sometimes it is amazing, other times it's kind of bland or fatty, just like the buffet. Yeah, just continuing on with what she said, like the food looked great sometimes, and you would like, you know, be ready and dig in, and you're like, oh, this kind of has no flavor, or it's bland, or, it's or really this fat. is really salty, like this pork chop right here. It looked amazing, but right when I bit into it, it was just mega salt. So it, berries some nights especially the elegant night the food was amazing um, but they have uh, like wonderful dishes on the ship um, you know some some of the days but sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's great so your time dining is kind of the same double-edged sword as the buffet so on the very last day um, they always do a goodbye celebration they sing to you um, thanking you for you know being on the ship and experiencing your vacation with them and it's always so bittersweet i even if i don't like what's on the menu i always have to go and see the show but then they do another show afterwards because they're like we can't end it on a sad note so we have to be fun and happy so they'll have everyone try to dance with them it's all good fun and when it comes to desserts honestly we have no complaints everything that we've gotten it was always really yummy very sweet um, they had multiple options so if you really love your sugar you know, it's not disappointing. I really love my soft serve ice cream. I got like four or five cones a day. Pretty bad on me, but you know, it's there, it's endless. So dessert, 10 out of 10. Yes. All right, so that was everything that you can eat on the ship, whether it's included or you have to pay extra. So thank you guys for checking out this cozy experience. We hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.